one of the things obviously you need to consider when you're using encryption is who actually has a backup of the password you're using for the encryption. Because actually if you're the only person who knows that password, you want that to be the, you want as few people to know that as possible. Um, but on the other hand, if you're the only person who knows it, if for some reason you forget it, you've got a huge problem yourself, or if for some reason somebody has to, for an emergency purpose, access your data, it's very unlikely to happen without you being available, then how would that happen? What would happen if you suddenly became very ill or something like that? And for some reason your data had to be accessed or something like that. What, what, what would you do? Well, the way I've got around that is that I actually have a copy of the password um, in an envelope which is sealed and signed across the seal and given to my supervisors and one supervisor keeps it in the safe. So should they absolutely have to access my data, they can't do it without getting special permission from IT services to get into my account which they would get in an emergency situation but not otherwise, they can access the encryption. And again, um, I think in my proposal I made it clear that they could have access to the data. So the, the, the fact that someone else does have access to the encryption key, in this case I use an encryption password, um, does mean that it's accessible. It's also quite sort of, I haven't forgotten the password yet, but it is quite nice for me to know that there is a spare because the encryption algorithm I use, if I forget the password, I can't get in. So it is kind of important that there is a backup somewhere, but you, again, you need to think very carefully about where's that backup going to be kept and how's it going to be kept secure. In my case, um, the supervisors know the, the directory it's in, they know the password, but the things are sort of kept separately in a couple of envelopes. So that that's the way that that can be accessed. So I have a backup plan. So if you're using encryption, you need a backup plan for getting to that encryption. You also need a securely held copy of what password you're using, but you need that kept with as few people as possible, preferably one or two.